Welcome to vid 145, I think. I found the water gun in my car. It's from the uh, Sugar Beach shoot that we did a few weeks back and left in the cars. Welcome back to the channel, guys. I took you guys to the other side of Brawny Harbor. If you guys haven't watched the first half, I'll link the video up here. Go check it out and then come back to this one. And uh, yeah, there's a couple spots I like to shoot here. So I'm gonna show you those and I'm gonna get into the discussion between quality and quantity. I gotta take this back to my car first. Watch out geese. Watch out geese coming through. Still got the paddles. Got the, got the sand pail thing. Another, another paddle. Still have a towel. Should probably clean this. So you guys may or may not know, but I'm in the process of making 150 videos before October 2nd, my YouTube anniversary. But I thought the other day to myself, I thought, I have to make so many videos in such a short amount of time, are the videos going to suffer in terms of quality? Because I can't spend as much time as I want because I have to move on to the next one. And uh, this area is, I can't wait because this area is really good when the, when the leaves change. Get some really, really cool shots. There's a few paths here for like leading lines. There's like one over there and one down there, which I'll show you guys. But it's pretty peaceful. There's actually like a secret beach. Well, not a secret, but it's hidden from the main part of the beach and it's just down here. I was gonna go down there and show it to you guys, but there's already someone down there, so I'll wait a little bit. Already got a little bit of leaves, leaf change here. Foliage, I guess, is the proper term. Can't wait for fall because I'm ready to post some fall photos on the Instagram. So I kind of touched upon the debate between quality versus quantity in a vlog prior to lockdown. Quality is basically setting yourself up for failure, basically saying to yourself, whatever I make has to be amazing or else it's a failure. And I think that's the wrong attitude. People there having ice cream. I kind of want to sit on that bench, but again, again, people are just sitting where I want to sit. I actually just love that mailbox there. It's a really cool mailbox. I don't know because it's at an angle or it says number 10, but I really like it. But if you take the quantity aspect, that's basically allowing yourself to make mistakes because you know that you're gonna make another one and another one and then you can ask for feedback on what you've made. And I think that's how you get better when you're just not naturally, naturally gifted at something. You just gotta keep making, you gotta be disciplined and over time, you're just gonna get better. So am I worried about these videos not exactly being perfect? Probably, but the fact that I can make whatever it is, nine videos in a couple of weeks, I think is, is an accomplishment, which you know shouldn't be undervalued. But yeah, don't, uh, don't aim for perfection, aim for discipline and process because that's how you really, really improve. You just got to figure out what works for you and what you like to do and what you want to achieve and I think that's really half the battle. Anyway guys, don't want to make this video too deep. I'm um, trying to keep it light and fun, especially in these times. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take you around, I'm going to go back down the steps and I'm going to take you um, along the beach and show you a couple of really good spots for composition. Let's keep walking. Yes, that's where we came from. I was too lazy to go down the, the cliff edge there. This log has been here for so long. Been here for a while, but 
it's kind of like uh, it's kind of like your own little paradise, a little cut off from the rest of the uh, park. And uh, you got some really really cool shots here, actually. Always, always, always look for framing because it just makes your photo better. Like I said in the last video, use these leaves to kind of like frame the lighthouse a little bit, and uh, just different guys. It's a tough shot because the leaves keep moving because of the wind, so it's a tough shot. I'm gonna be really honest with you guys. Most of the time, I don't know. Most of the time, I think these videos aren't gonna be aren't gonna be any good until I get into editing. But there's always this feeling that oh, this video is no good. I shouldn't post it. And to me, that's the wrong attitude because to me, it's if you if you want to share on YouTube. You need to complete the cycle, meaning you need to upload. If your intention at the start is to share publicly on YouTube, you need to complete the cycle and just post and just move on to the next one and not worry about how good it is or how bad it is. Or like I said in the other video, it's not how, it's not, it's not the, the video is bad, that's just your skill level. Like the videos I'm making today, you know, I'll probably be making better ones in a year or two years. So it's not that it's bad, it's just your skill level. So kind of get over that approach and mentality about just trying to wait for the perfect photo or video to post because it's never going to happen. You're always learning, you're always improving. And that's kind of my pitch. Yeah, just keep making stuff, guys. I mean, it can be, can be really, really simple sometimes. Here's a relic right here. Should be, should be in a museum. Love, love, love this spot. Just because, again, a leading line with an S-curve there. Really good when these trees start to change color. So um, I'm not sure if I have a photo in the archive, but if I don't, I'll make sure to come back and uh, and post uh, one of these one of these shots in the fall because it's actually really, really, really good. And if you guys aren't following my Oakful account on Instagram, please do Oakful Unlimited. I'll put it in the frame. You also want to isolate subjects. So instead of getting like a wider shot, just try to get this tree by itself. Minimalistic. Sometimes that works. Sometimes less is more. Usually less is more most of or all the time. And uh, yeah, why not? Just kind of found these fishermen here. I can see them, but they're there. And instead of again shooting that on, you want to use framing. So you can use these rocks or these leaves to frame the fishermen. This boat actually makes for a really cool, makes for a really cool photo too, maybe. To see what I can come up with, but. His wife or something went down there. Anyway, this boat, this boat could make for a cool photo. Now obviously, this little walkway, great leading line to a subject. Uh, fortunately, I don't have a subject. I guess I'll shoot it and just show you what it looks like, but it's actually a really, really great, great spot to get. A nice leading line, maybe get someone to walk by in the middle there, maybe, I don't know, try it out. What you wanna do is, what I did was I grabbed some of these yellow leaves and I just use it as a foreground because A, it's colorful and you just need something to create depth in your, in your image. And it came out not bad. You also want to bend down, like you want to get like a different perspective. So you want to go right to the ground, shoot from the ground because you get a totally different perspective and it just makes your photo different and that's what you want. You want different photos. Different photos, guys. Anyway guys, in college video, thanks so much for watching. Remember, quality versus quantity how you're going to get better at whatever you're going to try to do. 
and just figure out the process that works for you and uh, that's half the battle. So uh, please subscribe for more content. See if I can make it to 150 videos before next Friday. I have five left to do. So if you're not subscribed, hit the bell and all the things. And uh, yeah, that's about it. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in video 146. Peace. Master, <laughs> whatever it is you're trying to make because you know, that's just the way it is the way just so your next few projects after get better so my pitch is just do it argument <laughs> is in order to be really good you have to do a lot and I don't even know what I'm saying I'm not really a rush to stress guys don't don't worry about me I'm, I'm fine really I'm fine <laughs>